This is a so-called laser show machine. It cost me around $90 on AliExpress and is a lot less than I was expecting. Because for example it doesn't even have a music control where the laser is moving with the beat of the music. So that's why today I want to start making a homemade version that should be a lot better. First we'll take a look inside of the commercial machine. And then we make a plan on what we need for our homemade one. I'll try to use the parts that are not expensive. And like that maybe we get not just a better version but also cheaper. I want to solve the supply problem. We analyze the sound with the microphone and the Arduino. Then I want to use three different color lasers. We have to merge the light into just one. And then see how to move the light and create shapes. This video will be made out of two parts. So guys, let's get started. These PCBs were manufactured by PCBWay and the finish quality is very good, especially with these gold plated pads. If you want to finish your product faster, you could also ask PCBWay to make a panelized order, where you receive multiple PCBs on a single panel. Together with this, you can also order the SMD stencil from PCBWay and use it to add solder paste and then solder all the components at once and by that you save time and effort. All the orders are high quality and you could select a lot of settings such as the thickness, flexible PCBs, the color of the solder mask, the amount of layers, the material, the surface finish and more. So upload the Gerber files directly on PCBWay.com and make the order in just a couple of minutes. What's up my friends, welcome back. First let's take a look inside of the commercial laser machine. Inspect all the parts and then we can think of some improvements or cheaper ways to do the same job for a homemade version. So inside we have a power supply for 12 volts. And then we have some sort of controller board. And remember that I said that this machine doesn't have a sound control. So why is there a microphone on the PCB? Well that's because it has a crude mode where it activates a stuck movement when it hears sounds. So it's not the laser moving on the beat of the sound. Just activate it by the sound and the movement is random. Then we also have three laser modules for RGB. We have another controller board for the lasers, two stepper motors with some small mirrors, some input connectors for DMX communication and a cooling fan. And that's it, that's all that we have. So let's go one by one. For this supply we can use any 12 volt supply that we have around with a decent current amount something around 2 amps or more. As a driver in my case I want to use as always the Arduino. For the lasers I've just ordered a red, a green and a blue laser diode. And these are already inside of a metal case so they are quite easy to maintain cool. This will cost you from 3 to 6 dollars. And the cheaper option is to just buy a laser pointer like this ones. And these already have the current limiting circuit and all we have to do is to turn them on and off using a MOSFET for example. And they also came in red, green and blue colors. For the audio control all we need is the Arduino together with the microphone module. And this will analyze the sound and get real values and according to that we can make our movement of the mirror. And that's the final part and the topic of this video. How to move the mirrors in the X and Y directions. The commercial machine is using stepper motors. But I think that these are quite slow, noisy, heavy and bulky. So I'm trying to make a better solution and that's why I've made this PCB for this project. The idea is to place the mirror on a 3D printing structure and then move the plastic part using magnets and electromagnets. Because if you take a look closer to the PCB, we can see that it has 4 coils. 
I've made this PCB with two layers, so we have the coil on the top layer, but also on the bottom layer. And the PCB has a space for an Arduino Nano and an H-Bridge module. Using the bridge and PWM signals from the Arduino, we can control the magnetic field that the coils are creating, and by that we can push stronger or weaker onto the magnets. That's how I want to move the mirror, but I've made a mistake. Instead of controlling each coil separately, I've connected them in pairs of two in series. So basically A plus is connected in series with A minus and B plus with B minus. Like that we can move the mirror up and down or to the left and to the right, but we can control the amount of movement. For that we need to control each coil separately, so we can push the part contrary to the other electromagnet and balance the position. That's why I've changed the PCB and ordered it once again, but till it arrives we have to make some tests using external coils. I've made this support for the mirror and this time I've made it a little bit bigger and also used bearings so it moves easier. And this time we need two H-bridge modules, because we need to control four coils. Or since we don't need to change the polarity anymore, we can also just use four MOSFETs, one for each coil. This is the 3D printed support. We have two magnets for each axis. So first we mark the south side of the magnets with the red dot. And then we glue them with the same side facing downwards like this. I also glue in place the coils on the bottom 3D printed part. And here is where I place the mirror. And for that I will cut a small mirror that I had laying around. So now the support is ready. Actually I had to use smaller magnets, because the big ones were too strong and I've also glued a piece of wood to separate the metal coils. To test it out I connect the four coils with two H bridges. We could actually do this with only four MOSFETs, but since this is just a test, it is way easier to just use H bridge modules. The Arduino reads the value of these potentiometers for the X and Y axis, and applies a PWM signal for each coil. You have the schematic for this below this video. So as you can see I can easily control each axis separately and quite precise. The angle change could go from around minus 15 to 15 degrees which is more than enough. The only problem I can see by now is that the metal bearings are too heavy and they create too much momentum, but that will be removed once I get my new PCB and make a way smaller 3D support without the metal bearings. So guys, I can now move the mirror using magnets and coils instead of stepper motors. I still have to wait for the new PCB to arrive and make this mirror control even smaller. The new PCB will be able to control each coil separately. But I was able to test the PCB around and at least I know that it has enough magnetic force to move the magnets as you can see. I've also noticed that it gets a little bit hot and that might be a problem. In order to keep it cool we have to use a fan and try to dissipate more the heat from the PCB, maybe using heat sinks. Also we should use a lower voltage, but that will also lower the magnetic force as well. Since this is still a prototype phase, I won't build the entire laser machine yet. For the next part we will see how to analyze the sound with the Arduino and control the lasers with MOSFETs, but that will be the easy part. Then we make a 3D printed case and make a homemade version of the laser show machine. Sorry for not completing this project in this video, but I was already recording the tests and then I realized that the PCB had that error. But we now know that we could move a small mirror faster and also quite precisely without using slow, noisy, bulky and heavy stepper motors. And we also know the parts that we need for such a machine and we are ready for the second part in a future video. I hope that you have learned something new. If so, consider giving me a like or comment below. Thanks again and see you later guys. Hey, so one more video that ends, I hope that you like it. Okay, so listen, if you want to buy my merch, my t-shirts, you have the links below for my shop 
and I promise that I will make more designs. And also maybe you would comment below which one you like more and what more designs you would like to see because in that way I could start designing them and post my new t-shirts. So thank you for all the support and I'll see you in the next video.